How's it going everyone? This is my hello and welcome back to Kirby Superstar. As you can notice by the title down below or above or to the right or left depending on how YouTube decides to change its layout in the future. God forbid. This is the finale of Kirby Superstar. I'm going to be talking about why because elephant in the room, yes, great cave offensive, yes, Milky Way wishes, yes, these two things. And the fact that I'm still in the middle of, you know, finishing Revenge of Meta Knight. Can I go? Please. So let's continue with chapter 7. Well, let's continue by pressing all the wrong buttons, shall we? A is to the right, B is to the bottom. Okay. There's also the challenge of me figuring, remembering all the controls. Okay, now I think there was like yo-yo here, right? No, it does not it's ninja. Stone, no. Yo-yo, here we go. This is what I wanted. No! Here we go. Stop! Here we go. Now we're in control. So, really, like, this whole series has been a struggle of me versus the controls, and as you can see, it hasn't been pretty, but let's go. You're asleep. You're the troll. Jump! No, 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 no. Wait. This is my first time playing this game, so of course I don't know jack shit about anything that's going on. Well, it's this again. Yo, yo. Okay, well, we'll just make do with this. Um, can I read about what yo, yo does aside from... Let's see, there's yo, yo throw. Yo, break spin, up throw attack, down throw attack, hammer drop, and spiral. So, like that, I guess. Yeah, so we're still doing Meta Knight's Revenge, which is something that I've been doing for quite a while. Like, this is the third video into Meta Knight's Revenge. you think I would have been done with it by now, but no, I'm super slow. I'm too slow. I mean, I guess I have to... I figure I have to make, like, Smash references or Brawl references if I'm doing distance. Get up, get up, get up. Go, go, go. Oh, there's a door. Door, 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 door. Oh. <sighs> this kind of ties into why this is the finale of Kirby Superstar. In fact, let me just say it right here, right now. Why I am going to discontinue Kirby Superstar. Because I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun with this game. You may think this is the best Kirby game, and I respect that opinion. And, the th well, the thing is, I think the truth is, I just can't have fun with Kirby games. I never really have fun with them, except for Kirby's Dream Land, which is the first game and the simplest game. And lo and behold, it's also the game where Kirby doesn't have any, you know, abilities that he can suck up. Just him blowing and sucking. Kirby, please, get in. But yeah, I think the truth is, I just don't have fun playing Kirby games. Granted, including this game, I've only played three Kirby games. Well, oh, it's the Meta Knights, right? So the thing is, I've only, the only Kirby game I've played to completion was Kirby's Dream Land. As for the others, I only played Kirby's Adventure, like a part of it, but... I never actually beat it. Oh, cool. It's this Meta Knight. Nice. Well, let's go. Right. Oh, yeah, there's a time limit for this campaign. Yeah, so I tried to play Kirby's Adventure, but I also stopped playing that. Kirby Superstar. I think I actually briefly played this game, but um, this is my second time playing this game, and even now it's not like, yeah, it's whatever. Wow. Meta Knight actually says die. Wow. 
rated E for everyone or rated KA when this game came out? This is a Kirby game. How dare you say die? Get it? Um. All right, just wait. What? What did you? What happened? Why am I? I did not ask to be sword Kirby. No, I did not ask for this nonsense at all. Why did I turn into Cutter Kirby instead of Yo-Yo Kirby? Ninja, I'll make you a partner since you're that sleep, isn't it? It is. Thought I had to check, just to make sure. So they don't, they don't give you jack shit, huh? Get up. No! So, let me say this again. I don't have fun with Kirby games. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm too serious of a person. So what is the what is the whole thing with this get a thing? Oh, the sword. Fine, I, I guess I'll do the sword. Fine, I guess you're forcing me to have the sword power up. Um, let me take a look. Oh, I can't read what ability to have. Well, this would actually help. Just use all the projectile moves you can use and kick Meta Knight's ass. There we go. He's dead. Oh yeah, Kir uh, Meta Knight is a, is a blue Kirby. Right. Plot twist. We all knew that. Oh, there's still more? Why is it? Why is my partner a wheel? I guess we're just taking off. Bye! So that was... interesting. Oh, really? We have an escape sequence? Why? What? Why? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is more like it. I'm pressing the X button. Jump, Mega Man. Go, 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 go. Or is it Y? I think it's just the Y button. That's it. I don't understand Kirby games. I think that's the main flaw about myself. About why I can't really um, enjoy this game. I just don't understand Kirby. Wait, the time. Great! It's like. I don't know. Everyone says that this is the perfect Kirby game. But I have to ask is Kirby Superstar a good first Kirby game? Because this game seems very unfriendly for first timers. Maybe it's just Revenge of Meta Knight, which is unfriendly for first timers, but I feel like half the time I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, I've been ranting about this before, but so many times it feels like so many things are happening beyond my control. Go! Uh, for fuck's sake, why? Why? So... That's kind of like one reason why I'm discontinuing this series. Because I don't really like this game as much as you do. And that's kind of why I don't mind stopping it. Because I won't miss it. So, you may say you miss it, but I'm actually going to talk more about that at the end of this video. Go! Don't waste a timer. Alright. So I can just, just jump whenever you need to, then. I mean, here's the thing. I've learned from Super Mario Sunshine that people don't like it when I'm angry at the game. Because Super Mario Sunshine was one of my least successful Let's Plays because I was just angry at the game, so... You know, I guess anger doesn't work well with my channel. Despite the fact that it's what works well for most other channels out there, but, you know, I also try not to be like other channels out there, but, yeah. I think that's a, that was a final stretch. That was a final stretch. Are you kidding me? That was a final stretch. Well, I guess we're Wario. We're Wario, number one. E -e -e. The habit is going down and crashing. Don't worry, you'll come back, and then crash again, and come back and 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 crash again. What happened to Meta Knight? Did he die? Well, here's all of everything, I guess. So, I guess the value I have with this game is that it's retro enough for me to enjoy the fact that it's a 90s game, so it's retro-ish. 
but I mean, I'm not gonna end the video here. I think I may try out some of the mini games that I haven't touched yet, like that Negaton Punch and that Samurai thing. I have seen gameplay of those two mini games, so like I think when I went to uh, PAX West and went to the Runaway Guys um, Throne Controllers panel, at one point they caught up contest contestants up to the panel, and they had contestants play I think the Samurai mini game in this game so I've seen it I've never played it but I think I know what's going on in that oh I see what this means it's like the enemy and if you suck them up then that's the ability you get right yeah it is cool um, and by that I mean it's not an enthusiastic cool more like I acknowledged that cool I guess well that was revenge of Meta Knight I guess so you're done so let's try a Megaton Punch, shall we? What's with you? Pay attention to the power gauge and watch the pendulum. Okay. We'll do. So, oh yeah, there's Mario and Luigi in the... What? Okay, so I kind of wanted to pay attention to, like, the audience members. So there's Birdo, Mario and Luigi, Mario and Luigi, clones. Okay, so I guess I know what's going on. What? But I wanted to do it too. Did, was it because Nagojo just rushed it? Yeah, I keep, because I won again. So I see like duplicates of Mario and Luigi and Waddle Dee Waddle Dee and Birdo. So Nintendo cameos that I think everyone points out when they do Let's Plays of this game, right? Uh, the pendulum isn't perfect, but let's continue breaking apart Popstar. Let's continue breaking this planet apart, Lisa. So, uh, I guess I win that. So, I guess I'm not bad at this one, but let's try level 2. How hard does it get? Oh, it's Bandana D. Or whatever his name is. But it's Waddle D with a bandana. Waddle D is the cute one, right? Not Waddle D is the, um, the one that nobody likes. Yeah, nobody. There's a Waddle D in the background, too. Like, Waddle D is the one. Oh, it's Waddle D then Knuckle Joe. Right. Okay. Damn it, Nogojo, you just you ruined my concentration. Well, I get, at least I got that part, the pendulum part. Damn, look at that crack. That I ass crack. So, it's Waddle Dee, Nogojo, and who is this? I don't know enough Kirby lore to know my Kirby enemies. That sounds very ignorant, but I'm an ignoramus. What can I say? Well, maybe learn better. Did I lose that? No, I just barely won that, so I guess I win overall. Cool. And I guess this is the final part of Megaton Punch. Megaton Punch. I don't know how these are different. Maybe like the final opponent is different. Like Waddle Dee is going to be a joke, or Bandana Dee, excuse me. I guess that's a proper name. I always seem to do so well against Bandana Dee. Oh, he's so cute and so dead. Here's Knuckle Joe. Alright. That's his name, right? Knuckle Joe. It's like... So Sniper Joe is an enemy in Mega Man, so... It's just the fact that it's like... Joe and Joe. Oh, that was also close. Hmm. Alright, and it's that guy again, whoever he is. I don't know if that was good. We're kind of close. Right? How? 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 Alright, screw you. Let's do Samurai Kirby then. And I think this will be push any button immediately when you see exclamation point. Yeah, this is exactly what I remember from the Throne Controllers panel. Let's do beginners first. Well. Blink and you miss it. Yay, I win! Oh, look at Kirby's smile. Look at his smug face. Oh, Wheelie, hi. I like how Kirby has a ponytail. He's taking the samurai thing a bit too far. So, is there like a Mario Party 2 minigame that kind of goes like this? I think there is. Not a minigame, not a proper minigame, but more like one of those... Duo, um... It's like near the end of Mario 
Near the end of a board in Mario Party 2. Oh, King DDD. There we go. Nice. Look at his face. Look at his dumb face. Oh, it's Meta Knight, right? It is Meta Knight. What's with the numbers? Oh. Is that where it ends? Really? Is, is that where it ends? Well, I guess we can do novice and see if I do better here. Hi, what I'll do. And then we'll just go to expert and see how I get my ass kicked. Hello? Yeah, so like in Mario Party 2, when you're close to the end of a game, if you land on the same space, you end up in a duel match where you have to bet coins and then face off against each other. So the winner gets all of the coins that were wagered. And as you know, coins are what you need for to win. Also, because, you know, coins can help you have a high standing and even have a bonus star. But the important thing is that you need coins to buy stars as well, which is the ultimate thing in getting a good standing in Mario Party. Oh, come on. I'm a novice. Just because I was talking about Mario Party. Yeah. Alright, let's do Expert then. And let's see how I get my ass kicked here. With a decibel! Okay, I can beat a Waddle Dude. That's good, that's good. So I did better on beginner than on novice, so that's... I'm inconsistent. That's all I can say. That's very consistent with myself. Inconsistency. Ooh, that's a tie. Do we get to go again then? I guess so. What's with the number anyway? There we go. Is it like timing, I guess? Like, is the number on the sign related to the timing of everything? Okay. Welp. I guess it's consistent that I did worse here. Okay, so I think I, I guess I'm done. So, I think that's about it for my exploration of Kirby Superstar. So let me just clarify something. This was never meant to be an actual series. I only did Kirby Superstar because I was doing Super Mario Sunshine. And you know how, how I don't like Super Mario Sunshine, so I needed a break. Now the original intention of that series was just to be, was just, it was just supposed to be Spring Breeze only because I was debating whether to play this or play like Kirby's Dreamland on an emulator. In retrospect, maybe I should have done that instead because I was then burdened with the entirety of this game, which I didn't really want to do in the first place, and this series kind of felt more like a burden than anything. Now, I did intend on ending it at part 2 and then part 4, but or like part 3, like the part called We Used to Make Love was supposed to be like where I just abandoned the series, but someone did ask me to bring back the series, which is why I brought it back. Now, despite the claims that people wanted its series, um, despite the claims that people wanted this series to come back, I did not see a lot of evidence that people actually wanted to see this series to come back. Like, people claimed they wanted to see more of Kirby, so I gave them more Kirby, but I did not see any evidence that this series was well received, or rather, you know, people said, we want more of this, so I gave it to them, but did people actually take it? I don't know. So, really, like, this feels like extra baggage because I kind of want to finish everything off. Like, I want to finish off Silent Hill and... Because I want to move on to different projects. Um, and when I get into 2000, 2017, I want to start off with a blank slate. You know, all new projects and all, so... Come on! Yeah, this kind of feels like extra baggage that I don't know if people actually want it or not. If people did, then I saw no evidence that they actually, you know, enjoyed these videos, so... Really, like, I'm just dropping this series, because this is exactly what I wanted to do with this series. Dick around, but do you spring breeze, and that was my main motivation. Everything else is just dick around, and yeah. It also goes into the fact 
I mean, there's also the fact that I don't really care much about the Kirby series, and Kirby games don't really resonate with me. That's, I'm sorry to say, they're not for me. Sorry. I know that there are some of you Kirby, fan, Kirby fans out there, except comments say otherwise. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hope to see you around on my channel elsewhere. Unless you hate all my game selections, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye.